This you give to the cows now, Brian. It's a vitamin dredge. Yeah. It gives them a good boost. Oh, that way. There you go. So this is uh, under the skin, yeah. which is a wormer. It's about eight mil. Get a bit of loose skin. This is a rub first. Just under the skin. Make sure you're not quite the other side. Slowly. There you go. You're all done. Make sure it's sealed. I do it, I attempt to make it calmer. Get into its mouth. <laughs> okay. Nice. Right. A lot of farmers uh, tend to do it themselves. Yeah. If they know what to do. I was taught to treat it on the own animals. There was a time when you've got to get a vet. Get it in the under the skin. There's three types of injections what, what farmers will do, well vets do anyway. There's the intramuscular, which is usually in the neck, into the muscle, or into the backside. Yeah. And there's the subcutaneous, what I've just done under the skin, and there's the intravenous into the vein, but vets usually do that. There's more to farming than what people realise, yeah, and yeah. there certainly is. And, and I can honestly say it's quite a dangerous job, isn't it? This is why. You know, I mean. You just said to me then, keep an eye on every cow because you can't trust them. Yeah, yeah. And don't underestimate them because the run runs at you, and stands on you, or bashes into you. It's going to crush you into the railings, isn't it? Yeah, I did this once for their local cadet group. Not long, parents loved it. Yeah. The cadets loved it. For the public, in outcry because I put them in a crush. Right. This is why. This is why they need educated. Yeah. People need to educate. This is why we're putting yes. a crush. To control it's them, not, isn't it's it? Not a, yeah. It's not a, Top of the chamber. No. It's for keep you safe and to keep the bull safe. Yes. The animal safe. Yeah. You know, it's not, definitely not a top. All you do now is just, just it's lock in just lock position. It in place. Yeah, yeah. There's other even better ones than this, you know. Yeah, yeah. Got you. If it was intramuscular, I yeah. would definitely put an e eagle in off, disinfect it. Yeah. It's just under the skin, I don't, I don't tend to do that. You know, with intramuscular intervenous, you've got to make sure there's no air bubbles in it, really. But I still try to do the same. Of course. Alright, I'm going to run at you. 
You've got tough skin, haven't you? Well, good boy. Girl. Good girl, you're going to get a treat in a bit. Easiest one. <laughs> yeah. It was that. Was an alright for you that darling. Get a loose piece of skin. Make sure you get this tough piece of skin. This actually. Tough, tough beef. Yeah. Once they've been in the crush, they probably don't think it's a good experience. What I do, I always give them a treat after they've been in it. So it, it sort of resets their head saying, oh, I like going in there, I get a treat after. So we're going to give them some food now. So like you would do with a household pet, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good treat. Oh, they're loving that. Uh, thanks very much for allowing us to come and uh, view you yeah, at your farm. Yeah, anytime. Um, CT cows, give them the vitamins and the uh, worming shots and, and then finish off our feeding. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the film and uh, do take care. Goodbye. <laughs>